What is professional scrum? Most people familiar with scrum know that the term professional scrum is synonymous with scrum.org. When Ken Schwaber, the co-creator of scrum, started scrum.org in 2009, he wrote, Our mission remains the same as it was when we started, to help our profession rise to the demands of an increasingly complex world that relies on increasingly complex technologies and products. Advances in materials and techniques can only succeed if we shift to a collaborative, creative approach. As we use Scrum, we continue to find new opportunities for professional improvement. However, there are many people, teams, and organizations that go through the motions of following the Scrum Guide and focus on checking the boxes of completing the Scrum events. We did our daily Scrum, check. Sprint review is done, check. We did our sprint planning session, check. We did our sprint retrospective, check. To ensure that they hold all of the scrum events, for example, and then they make sure accountabilities are assigned and artifacts are created. But they do not go beyond that, and the team members are solely following the scrum guide in what we would call mechanical scrum. With his mission in mind, Ken and the Scrum.org community focused on moving beyond just the mechanics of Scrum to what he calls professional Scrum. To practice professional Scrum, a mindset shift is needed in how people think, act, and work. So what does this really mean? Looking back in history, Scrum was originally developed for complex software development projects. And now it is being used for almost any type of team-based product work. The framework as defined in the Scrum Guide is a simple yet powerful way to bring order to complexity through ongoing learning. Scrum provides opportunities for frequent feedback on work and how it is done. Let's look at the fundamentals of Scrum. Empiricism is essential for evidence-based inspection and adaptation of how the work is done and what is being delivered. It champions self-managed, empowered teams who are closest to the problems and the work to best make decisions and it encourages continuous improvement based on what is learned on an ongoing basis. The Scrum framework is fairly simple, being made up of a team with three accountabilities who take part in five events and produce three artifacts. With Scrum, important decisions are based on the perceived state of the three artifacts, making their transparency critical. Transparency enables inspection and leads to greater trust among the team and others within the organization. Artifacts that have low transparency can lead to decisions that diminish value and increase risk. To be effective with Scrum, however, requires something more than just following the fundamentals of the framework. It requires mindset techniques for ways of working and thinking and an environment that supports it, including trust. And that is what we call professional Scrum. Scrum teams and their organizations need to embrace a growth mindset. As described in a January 2016 Harvard Business Review article by Carol Dweck, individuals who believe their talents can be developed through hard work, good strategies, and input from others have a growth mindset. They tend to achieve more than those with a more fixed mindset, those who believe their talents are innate gifts. This is important because complex problems require out-of-the-box thinking to apply different solutions and try different things, often doing things that have not been done before. When Scrum teams and their organizations embrace a growth mindset, Scrum team members feel far more empowered and committed. They also receive far greater organizational support for collaboration and innovation. So how do we shift our mindset from the mechanics and fundamentals to a growth mindset and then tie back to improvement and empiricism. The Scrum values can help with this. Scrum team members need the ability to be flexible and have a longing for constant feedback and improvement. In the book, Agile Software Development with Scrum, written by Ken Schwaber and Mike Beadle in 2001, they discussed the Scrum values, which were later added to the Scrum Guide in 2016. As a part of professional Scrum, the Scrum team members need to understand and live the Scrum values.
courage to do the right thing and work through difficult problems. Focus on delivering value to users, customers, and stakeholders every sprint. Commitment to achieving the sprint goal, product goal, and definition of done. Respect each other's experiences, backgrounds, and abilities. Openness about all work and any challenges with performing that work. Professional scrum teams focus on being outcome-oriented. They work on problems that, when solved, deliver value to customers and stakeholders, and if value is not being delivered, they adapt and evolve. At the same time, scrum teams need to balance different needs between the types of stakeholders. For example, there are stakeholders inside the organization, and users are consumers of what is being delivered, each with possibly conflicting needs. This requires that the Scrum team considers what is best based on the information they have at hand. With professional Scrum, Scrum teams strive to do the right things for stakeholders by delivering value. Measuring value helps Scrum teams to focus on outcomes while gathering metrics that help guide improvement. As a main fundamental of Scrum is empiricism, ongoing learning and development are core tenets of professional Scrum. Learning happens at the individual level and together as a team. Learning about customers, the organization, their industry, their competition, the technologies that are used, and about ways to improve how they work. To learn more about professional Scrum and how you can grow your knowledge, go to scrum.org.